Okay. So I'm going to be talking about three concepts in antibody antigen reactions today. That's what is known as what the pro zone, the post zone. Then also we'll talk about the zone of equivalence, although it's not actually included here, but we'll talk about the zone of equivalence too, as related to antibody antigen reactions. Okay. So this is just simply what it means. If you say um, an antigen antibody reaction is a prozone, okay, it simply shows that there's what excess antibody. So the amount of antibodies, uh, the, the amount of antibodies was too much for the antigens, so it actually diluted the antigens. The zone of equivalence is when you are now saying the, the the number of antigens and antibodies kind of like what the same post zone okay so it has a pro zone right okay pro zone is too much antibody post zone is what excess antigens so that means that the antigens could kind of like dilute the antibodies too much for a reaction to actually occur okay so uh we see that the pro zone phenomenon and post zone there are two usual on, okay so two unusual effects observed in antibody antigen reactions particularly this when you're talking about serological tests so this phenomenon can lead to what you having false negative results so the reaction the thing is there but simply you can actually have a clumping or agglutination simply because what maybe an antigen or antibody is too much or is in excess if it's an antibody that is in excess it's called a prozone stuff it's an antigen that is in excess you call it a post zone stuff okay so for the prozone right which is the first one having excess antibodies we said that it occurs when there's an excess amount of antibodies which is present in the reaction so instead of forming visible immune complexes antibodies are overwhelmed okay sorry antibodies overwhelm the antigens you understand like the antigens are diluted so it can lead to what you having false negative results the problem is there but you can't pick it up simply because what well, antibodies are too much so it's often seen in diseases like autism syphilis uh, where early testing may show a negative result despite you having the infection there all right so zone of equivalence it's just simply you have everything equal so for the post zone phenomenon now it happens when there's an excess of antigens compared to antibodies so this leads to what insufficient formation of what immune complexes so it will now make detection very difficult okay so it can also produce false negative results until maybe the antibody levels will now be able to rise to now compete with the antigen levels do you understand so this is just the two phenomena when i'm talking about it as related to antigen antibody reaction 